Alright, hello. Um, just thought I'd put up a vlog of exactly what Kidnapper Girl is or <laughs> is supposed to be. So the goal of Kidnapper Girl is to pretty much document my life post near-death experience and the goal of absolute happiness. <laughs> so yeah, about five months ago I got pretty sick. Um, yeah, I wasn't expected to make it for a little while there, but I did. I'm here. After that happened I made the commitment to myself that I would only make decisions that would result in me being happy pretty much so um, yeah it's complicated when every decision around you has to result in you being happy um, you make a lot of decisions that people don't quite understand or accept um, but you know that's alright that's fine Um, and so I thought I might as well create something as opposed to just sitting in front of my computer watching Veronica Mars, Freaks and Geeks, you know, as, as much as that's fun and awesome. Um, not exactly constructive. <laughs> um, I mean, hopefully the vlogs will be more interesting this, than this one. I just thought I'd start it off, explain exactly what Cadaver Girl is. Existential crisis put on the internet pretty much and I think a lot of people can kind of relate to that whether they've actually experienced a serious illness or not. Um, particularly people around my age I <laughs> can get it. I really want a cup of tea. I mean, I'm a bit sick at the moment, so I'm a bit <laughs> congested, a bit gross, but that's why I apologise for the way I look, <laughs> slash sound, slash just everything. <laughs> and so I think this vlog will just be my retelling of um, the rather interesting situations that arise when you are constantly thinking about what is going to make you happiest which actually is rather stressful and kind of defeats the purpose I'm, I'm not particularly sure that any of this made sense <laughs> um, probably didn't 